Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is React.js full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the previous episode, we learned how to use a component inside another component. We also learned important concept of hierarchy structure and schema, which is a parent, child, and then uh, the relationship. Today, we are going to learn one of the way of how we can create components. React allows us to create components in two different ways. One is a functional component, the other being class component. Class component is covered in the next episode. Today, we are focusing on learning functional components. This is part 12 of the series. If you have missed out on the first 11 parts, make sure that you go back and check out the entire playlist in order to have continuity to your learning. So far, while building our project, which is a credit card portal, we have learned and built five components. Header, the search results bar, the actual cards, the pagination component, and the footer. Unknowingly, we have built these components, but these components are what we call functional components. We'll learn all about it and master this way of creating components today. So what exactly are functional components? Functional components are nothing but your regular JavaScript functions, but they will return JSX, which is the markup. They are written just like regular JavaScript functions with often using arrow function syntax. Function components are stateless, which means they don't have their internal or their own state to maintain. However, after 16.8 React version, with the introduction of hooks, we can use uh, hooks like use state, use effect, etc. Performance wise, functional components are generally considered more lightweight and easier to optimize as they don't have involve the overhead of a class component instances. Functional components can be more concise and easy to read, especially for simpler UI rendering. That being said, let's jump into the code and learn how we how to create components, functional components. I'm bringing up the editor. I'll make some notes as we move along. <coughs> Today we are learning functional components. All right, so first thing you should uh, remember is that they are just regular functions, okay? Regular JavaScript functions. So there is nothing new here. If you know and aware of how to write a function in JavaScript, you know how to write a component already. <coughs> now, remember they will return, the functions will return the functions will return the JSX, which is the markup, right? Now let's go ahead, create our component and I will show you how to do it end to end. So in the source, I'm going to create a new file. I'll call it child1.js or you can give, um, say a credit card type, credit card tab.js. Okay, I'm calling this as credit card tab.js. Now, how do you write a function? You will write export default function credit card tab. All right. So what this function does, it I'm exporting this function, which can be used anywhere. <coughs> now you'll write the return wrapper. And inside this, we will write our HTML or the markup language. Now, what I'm going to do is let's go to, since we are using bootstrap framework, I'm going to use tabs functionality in order to render a tab. That way it would look good. So just copy this tab from the tabs example. Go back to that. Or we can write our own code to display custom tabs. That's fine. For now, I'm just using pre-built existing tab. <coughs> All right, so I'm going to name them um, uh, sir, by banks by premium partners and I'll say discount dead cards okay let's say we have these many okay perfect <coughs> so now we have a component which is returning us the tabs right now what I can do this is a component which I've created I need to use it so I can go to my main component and I can just say credit card tab and self-close it. It will. It is already bringing that 
function from that particular file that component and it's already we have included <coughs> so now let's go back to our application and see we already have the tabs here by banks by premium partner discounted cards right so this is a classic example of a functional component that's included and we have created that and we can use it now you can create other functional components right inside another component also so let's say here I'm going to say um, highlight highlight credit card and I'm going to say it's a function so this is just a function and you can return again um, you can return some and say highlighted credit cards right so this is yet another component which is again a functional component because it's just a, a function but it is returning JSX so we can go and include it in our tab and we can just call it like this all right so now let's go ahead and see it should show highlighted credit cards is being displayed at the top because that's what we have added it but if you want it at the end we can add it at the end after the UL so now it shows highlighted credit cards right so similarly you can build any number of components that are used and added important thing to remember is that they are just like any other regular JavaScript function which returns a markup or the JSX and then we can include them directly like this all right so this is two examples that I've showed you one is using in some other JS file and this is where you have a component right inside another component all right so that those are two ways that you can include a functional component I hope it's clear I hope the uh, fundamental logic is clear because this is one way of creating a component there is one more way which is called class component that I'll be covering in the next episode. So make sure that you join me there and you continue your learning. Please do practice this code. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll be more than happy to help you. I'm available through comment section. So please write your comments there. I'll be happy to take a look. Thank you so much for joining in this episode. I'll see you in the next one.